Well, Bethesda seems to have updated Skyrim yet again. However, I have some good news for you if you're frustrated with this recent update. It turns out modding can be saved after all. In this video, I'm going to be giving you all a solution to fix your mod lists for good. I'm sure many of you have heard that Bethesda has recently been ramping up their paid mod scheme again. I mentioned it in a recent video. And listen, I know many of you are mad, but think about it from their perspective. They need the cash flow to payroll developers to create a paid store for Fallout 4. Money doesn't grow on trees, okay? Skyrim has only been producing a constant stream of sales for over 10 years. And remember, they are owned by Microsoft now after all. There's not exactly a lot of money to go around. I heard they're only sustaining Todd on beans. Ah, and by the way, last video where I complained about paid mods and said that Microsoft was the second largest company in the world. Correction, they just became the largest company in the world. And you know what? I was pretty disgusted by some of those comments I saw in that video too. Guys, Microsoft just became the largest company in the world. And what? Do you want them to lose their place or something? What, you don't want to give them more money for a game you already paid for? <sighs> kind of selfish. Well, I guess it's nice to know we are all pretty much on the same page here. That brings me to wanting to introduce you all to what is the best mod ever made for Skyrim. Trust me, this is all related. So to recap, Bethesda keeps updating their microtransaction store, and it keeps breaking mod lists that people have grown to love, and have left many mods totally unusable for lots of players. Back in 2019, after dealing with this enough times over, many people found a solution, myself included. It turns out, you can prevent any of this from happening by disabling updates on Steam. Unfortunately, I saw many people in the comments of my last video about Bethesda totally unaware of this, probably because they recently got into Skyrim for the first time and have therefore had their mod lists completely break in the last month. So that is why I felt the need to make this video. By the way, to disable updates on Steam, just go to your Steam library, find the relevant version of Skyrim you are playing and right click it and go to properties. Then within the properties window, go to the update tab, then choose only update when I launch the game. This way, the game won't update unless you launch it from Steam. So if you do this, remember only to launch the game from SKSE. Disabling Steam updates can help prevent the problem, but can't exactly fix the problem. In other words, many people are left wishing they can go back in time and prevent their game from updating so their mods still work, or be able to revert to an older version to be able to really seriously get into modding Skyrim. This is where the best mod ever comes in. The best Skyrim mod ever made isn't an ENB. It isn't an immersion mod. It isn't a combat mod. And it isn't even Rupert. Get him, Rupert! Shovel him! Yeah! The best Skyrim mod ever made is the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition Downgrade Patcher. This is the most heroic mod ever made for Skyrim. For most people, the process of reverting to an older version of Skyrim is very involved and requires you to do a lot of typing in the Steam console. However, this mod gives people a very streamlined way to revert to an older version of the game. The mod author has also been continually updating the mod and seems to plan to keep on doing that. The truth is, a lot of mods are not fine-tuned to the Anniversary Edition and are more suited to run on the Special Edition, specifically version 1.5.97. This is the version of Skyrim that I have been running on for years and what most of my more recent mod lists are running on also. This mod lets you download an application that can revert your game back to a version before the Anniversary Edition. Tragically, there is a big catch. Since Bethesda continually updates the game, many people have run into problems with this mod as of recent. Part of the issue is probably because the downgrade patcher is based currently on downgrading from version 1.6.1130 to 1.5.97. Luckily for the people in the circumstance of running version 1.6, 6.1170, user Papa Brando has posted a manual solution in the comments of the mod page. However, after the update just the other day, user Dizzy B2U posted a more updated solution, and yes, unfortunately, it does involve using the Steam console, but I can walk you through it. Keep in mind, if you're watching this after another update by Bethesda, double check the post section of the mod page to make sure you're getting the right downgrade code. Also, word of warning, some people do experience instability in their saves after going through this process, but others don't. If you want to know what version of Skyrim you are running, you can see it in the Skyrim menu right here. 
So make sure to double check that before you go through this process. So for now, we're going to open the Steam console. To do that, you press the Windows key and the letter R. Then drop in this address, hit enter, and you should see the console. <clears throat> I mean, it is a video. You can pause if you'd like. <laughs> I will give you the number sequences for both downgrading from two different versions. So first, assuming you want to downgrade from version 1.6.1170 to 1.6.1130. Into the Steam console, type these commands. I will include these commands in a pinned comment below the video if you don't want to just type them from on screen. Type all of these commands into the console one by one and hit enter after typing in each command. Since each command involves downloading a ton of Skyrim's files, it may take a while to complete depending on the speed of your internet. Feel free to pause the screen as you like. Once they're fully downloaded, you should be good to go. And for people who want to downgrade to 1.6.1170 or 1.6.1130 to 1.6.640, just like the last one, type all of these commands into the console one by one and hit enter after typing in each command. Wait for all of the files to each download completely. Once your files are fully downloaded, you should see three messages in the console that say download complete. Now, highlight the file address up to where you can see I did on screen after the app number sequence. Now copy it, then open your file explorer and paste the address into the address bar and hit enter. You will be redirected to three folders. Each of these folders contain different files that you need to drag and drop into your Skyrim directory. Doing this will replace much of Skyrim's game files to the older version of the game. Don't forget, you need to drag and drop all the files from all three folders. You can see the location of where I'm dropping them here on screen right now. Now, after you've dropped in all the files from the three folders, you can now return to the mod page to fully downgrade your game to the special edition version. Obviously, make sure that you choose the right version of the launcher for your version of the game. Just download the launcher and run it, and you should be good to go. And there you go. Hopefully, your Skyrim is downgraded. For technical support, I definitely recommend asking questions in the post tab of the mod page, since I am definitely no technical expert. I just wanted to share the solution with all of you. And even if that doesn't work, and you're unwilling to go through the whole rigmarole of using the Steam console, there is one last way to be able to play the good old version of Skyrim Special Edition. GOG has a special edition version of Skyrim for sale that has no DRM at all. It can be played completely independently from Steam, and you can even play it offline. Meaning auto updates are not possible, and you get to play Skyrim completely frozen in time without any technical know-how necessary. If all else fails and you truly can't live without playing Skyrim, acquiring this version of the game may be your best bet. Although I completely understand if people don't want to give Bethesda more money. Very important note, just remember for all of these methods, you will need to make sure that when you download mods from the Nexus or when you download SKSE, that you pick the version of the mod that is for your version of the game to ensure the mod actually works. Again, you can double check your version of Skyrim in the game's menu located right here. And as an added tip, to seriously prevent the game from ever updating, not necessary if you're using the GOG version. Even if you have auto updates disabled on Steam, go to your Steam apps folder and find the app manifest 489830 file and set it to read only in the properties. This way the game truly cannot be updated by Steam, whether Steam wants to do it or not. And hopefully after all of that, you can keep playing and enjoying Skyrim. It is totally ridiculous that Bethesda just keeps re-releasing Skyrim and adding very minimal improvements and ultimately just using it as a way to keep charging close to full price for this old goddamn game and forcing in microtransactions. It is disappointing to see them alienate their community like this considering how much joy this game brings us. What? No, come back! Damn it! Get down here! Cowards! Oh. No! Damn. They're nimble. Aw, oh, he's so discouraged he can't stop walking around in a circle. They've gotten into his head. Oh god, no. He's gone mad. I'm gonna have to put him down. <laughs>